Hey guys, this is Allie with Tip B, and today we're going to look at how to replace the battery in an iPhone 4. This is a relatively easy repair. It only involves three screws and uh, prying up a little clip. Um, what you're going to need for this is obviously a new iPhone 4 battery. And the way you typically diagnose this is if your phone's not turning on or it's coming off or it's turning off the minute you unplug it, you probably need a new battery. So you'll need a battery some type of plastic pry tool, whether or not you want to use one like this or this is completely up to you. Um, I typically use both for different things. Um, a screwdriver, and depending on what iPhone 4 you have, you might have double zero Phillips screws down here if you have an older iPhone 4, or you're going to have security screws, which are pentalobular screws, and uh, they're five points, so you'd need one of the security screwdrivers, which you can also find online. Uh, this phone is an older one, so it's got uh, just the regular double zero Phillips screws down here. Uh, make sure the phone is powered off before performing any repair, obviously. And we're just going to remove these two dot connector screws down here. Magnetic screwdrivers work a lot better for this because you're a lot less likely to lose screws as you're pulling them out. Um, or just buy a magnetizer, demagnetizer. You can get them online for about five or six dollars and you can magnetize and demagnetize screwdrivers as you want. So after you have the two dot connector screws out, this back just slides up and then you can pull it off. So and set that aside. And here's your battery right here. What we're gonna do is there's a screw holding the battery down right here. We're gonna remove that. It's a double zero Phillips screw as well. Um, whenever you're taking these apart, you want to keep the screws separate because some of them do have different heads on them and they're different lengths. So if you mix them up, you're going to have a hard time reassembling or you're going to have to figure out where those screws went. So I typically just leave them all separate. Okay, and then this right here clips down on the logic board and this is what is holding your battery to the logic board. So all we're going to do is take a pry tool. I typically use uh, one like this, a spudger tool that has an end like this and like this. This fits perfectly underneath here, and you just want to pry up gently until that clips off. This right here grounds your Wi-Fi antenna. This might slip out a little bit, and you're going to have to pull it off anyway. And you're going to want to put that back on. It's going to make your Wi-Fi not work or act really funky if you don't put that back on after you replace the battery. You have a little tab here to pull up on the battery. I don't use these. They typically tear. So what I do is take a spudger tool and uh, work my way around this side. This battery's been removed, so you're going to see that this one comes up relatively easy. You might have to actually break the adhesive and work your pry tool around the edge here to get the battery fully up. So what I'm going to do, and you can hear a little bit of adhesive, just pull that battery up. The new battery has a clip on it already, and all you're going to do is set that in there and clip, but you want to make sure you sit your little grounding piece for your Wi-Fi antenna in there first. And you can see it has a hole for the screw, so it's pretty easy to know how this goes in there. That piece right there is your Wi-Fi antenna, and that is what it needs to cover when you put it back in there. So all you're going to do is set that right there. And I found the easiest way to do this is to hold that with your hand and take this battery and clip it with your other hand, you're going to hear it lock in place. And then just set the battery down just as like you started. And then put your back piece on and you're done. And obviously put your screw back in here and then your two dot connector screws and that's how to replace a battery on an iPhone 4.